image and form. Games. Thunderful. It's so wonderful, it creates thunder. On the sound of my Coca-Cola. It's Steam World Quest. Hand of Gilgamec. Because that's awesome. Um, I love the Steam World series. This is supposed to be like Steam World card battling. Haven't played it yet. Just came out Friday, this past Friday. Currently Sunday. But I'm here. I'm Seth Trav. And I'm doing it on the Switch It Up show. A suitable difficulty. Time to get ready for bed, son. Oh. Oh, Dad, tell me a story first, please. Oh? You want to hear another tall tale from the high seas, do you? No, not another pirate story. I want to hear about dragons and knights in shining armor. Dragons? I got tons of those, son. Well, then we have to go way back. To the age of heroes. A long time ago, in a kingdom when far away, was still young and innocent. The gods grew born and forged a heart of evil and placed it in the chest of a behemoth. Behemoth. A true hero was called upon, and by his hand, the corrupted heart of the monster was torn out and buried where it could do no harm. Over the years, his heroic deeds fell into obscurity. Instead, heroes gets rusty and spread across the land like <coughs> mud. There that's, was still that's light just a dog evil. barking. Our story begins with two such lights. Two friends strolling through the forest in search of a mushroom. Oh, of course. You, you need the shrooms. They're the lifeblood. Chapter One. The Knight and the Alchemist. I like their simoleon speak. The smell of hazard and fungus hit them as they searched for the fabled peppermint puffer. Will you stop narrating everything? Chapter 3 in the Hero's Handbook clearly points out the importance of visualizing. Visualizing my foot, that fully illustrated book of yours is a pun-ridden cringe fest. Hey, don't diss the book. Sounds like something I could have written. And by the way, when are we eating? We should have taken a galio up that on that breakfast offer before we left. Sigh. He didn't invite us for breakfast. He said he'd rather eat the slowly gathering dust in the basement before joining our mushroom hunt. And this mushroom we're hunting is important enough for you to literally pull me out of bed? You can't do real alchemy from the comfort of a bed. A few of the professors at the college actually tried that, but the rest of them shriveled up over their research in musty, sun-forsaken labs. There was one professor, though, who really inspired me. She underlined the importance of actually going out in the world to deploy knowledge practically for the good of the many. Today's deployment is about finding the medicinal peppermint puffer. Not only is it anti-hypersensitive, heptoprotective, and nephroprotective, it can also... Mmm, you're setting me in the mood for stew. We are not making stew. Look, 
Let's just get going. I need to get restless, so why don't you take the lead for a while? Okay. Many objects in the world, such as the mushroom patch ahead, can be interacted with. Move near the mushrooms and use the controls shown below to look at them. Hey, that was easy. Time and enough to get these cooked up before the rooster crows. Unfortunately, these are common brushwood aminatas. We're after a peppermint puffer, remember? Dang! Also, they're poisonous, so don't eat them. Double dang! Oh, hey. Bad guys? The exclamation point would suggest. Gara! More of those pompous posers from the village. Wait a minute. I knew the guild had some flimsy hangarounds, but you're practically rattling around in the bulky armor. Did you just call me scrawny? Whoa, whoa, easy now. I didn't say. The armor fits perfectly! Here we go. Turn one. Tutorial. Punch card battles. Battles are fought using punch cards. Each turn, you'll draw up to six cards. These cards represent abilities your heroes can use. You can choose up to three cards to play each turn. The cards will be lined up at the top of the screen. When you're happy with the cards you've selected, press the finish turn button. Heroic strike, heroic strike, bravado. I can see details. Heals Armorelli by 75%. Magan raises her strength by one grade for three turns. Heroic strike. Heroic strike. And... Deals physical damage to the foe. Cool. Ugh. Ooh. Your heroes can play three kinds of cards, strike, upgrade, and skill. Strike cards are just what they sound like, basic. Uncomplicated attacks that deal damage to your enemies. Upgrade cards empower your heroes temporarily in some way. As your heroes use strike or upgrade cards, they build up steam pressure or SP that can be spent to play powerful skill cards. Uh, yeah. And then... Damage shield. Let's do it. Let's see what, what's up. I feel like that shield did nothing. Each strike or upgrade card generates one SP. Your heroes have shared pool of SP. Skill cards are versatile and powerful, but you don't have enough SP. You can play them all. You can't play them at all. Manage your pool of SP wisely. Book bash. That. And then... A buster. <laughs> nice. Cool. I collected sweet, sweet gold. Easy as mushroom pie. Mmm, pie. We've clearly stepped into Coglin turf here. Let's just try and get out in one piece, okay? You think there's more of them? Awesome. It's like hurting a small tornado. Hoosha, hoosha. 
Oh, our heroes chanced upon a relic, a test them into the glorious past battles of and some long forgotten treasure. Hmm, more like Coglin loot stolen from unwary travelers. The hero's handbook declares, after beating up ruffians fair and square, the champion deserves a proper reward. I found repair vial. Recovery items can be used to heal your heroes. Use recovery items outside of combat. Uh, selecting those. Use recovery items in battle by going to the battle menu. Selecting recovery items. Cool. Oh shoot. Where are those pint sized troublemakers? Let's ambush them. The Hero's Handbook describes just what to do in a situation like this. There's two whole pages with diagrams on how to startle a coglin. And we sneak up behind them, strike first, and gain the upper hand. You must realize that regardless from which direction you come waving a sword at anyone, you will still startle them. Whoa. So, say, so you say the method works on anybody? The book is great. Beware, foes engage you if they see you. Gain an upper hand against them by pressing the indicated button when they are close enough to attempt preemptive strike. This will cause your foes to begin the battle already wounded. Nice. Okay, you can redraw cards in your hand up to two times. Each turn redrawing a card means that the selected card will be discarded and replaced by a new card on your deck. Hold X to redraw. Discarded cards will eventually make their way back into your hand, uh, so don't hesitate to redraw often. Um, yeah, I'll redraw that, and I'll redraw that. Okay, cool enough. Don't need to press Y, you can just keep on pressing A. Cool. Okay. Book bash. Book bash. You know what? I'm gonna bravado. Trashium scraps. Huh. What are we saying? Okay, cool. Let's go down. Look. Even the Coglins have raised statues over Gilgamesh, the true ancient hero. The majestic pose. Proud of a great deed oozing from every cut of the chisel. Ugh, those statues are literally everywhere. Of course they are. Gilgamesh saved our kingdom from certain doom. He defeated a huge snarling behemoth, tore out the evil heart with his bare hands, and... And you can relive that very moment in your hero's coloring handbook. Harmph. At least Coglins know how to appreciate the heroes of the past. Unlikely. They seem to be more into piles of garbage and lumber held together by yarn. These artfully majestical modules to ancient heroes serve as a good place to sit down for a while and get some rest. Approach a statue to save your progress. Interact with it to restore your hero's health. However, be aware that this will also respawn all nearby enemies. Okay, cool. So I can... Um, I can 
do this, but it's also going to allow me to go back and forth and attack enemies a bunch more so I can keep leveling up. Is what I'm thinking. Oh. What's up with this big dude? Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Damn it. Okay. Barrier. Barrier. Cool. Bravado. Buster. And Pillar. Make me strong. Tenacity. Ooh ha. It's going to attack a bunch of people. Yeah, it deals damage at all foes, so I don't I don't really feel like I should do that. And he's dead. Nice. I like their happy faces when they level up. Steel Bracer. Okay, cool. You found an accessory item. Before it'll do you any good, you must first open the pause menu and equip the accessory in the equipment menu. Select the character you wish to equip it and select the accessory slot to reveal a list of items. Equipment. Accessory. Health plus 20. Neat. Yes, and it saves the game. Wait, can it be? It's that dank shroom. It's even more majestic than I could have imagined. Success smells like peppermint. It will be like eating breakfast, dessert, and brushing your teeth at the same time. We're not going to... You know what, let's just grab it and get out of here. Just like the grinding gears of endless time. Our heroes halted to catch their breath. With the peppermint perfumed prize in hand, they readied their swads. Hands off, this peppermint puffer will clean out the mold from the funnel of the old well. We're helping the entire village. You need to dry it in one whole piece to extract it. Whoa, did you hear that? Can't help it. This sweet and crisp scent makes me hungrier by the second. I don't think that was your belly. That's no moon. Well, I know what you're going to say, but imagine how much stew we could... Eek. My mushrooms, who dares steal Gumpfus' beautiful mushrooms? Easy there, chief. We were just here to pick up some of these. Unsuspecting innocent mushrooms? Ravengers! I'm, I'm not a ravenger, I'm an alchemist. Goomphus doesn't care. Goomphus will teach you not to plunder nature. Damage comes in five elements. Physical, fire, frost, storm, and arcane. Card's damage type is shown on each card. Some enemies will have natural resistance and, or weaknesses. 
certain elements, and some cards will raise or lower elemental defenses. Use the right element to maximize your damage you deal. Oh my god. I probably should have looked for the healing thing. Poison! P poison! Uh, some cards inflict status conditions. They are negative effects. Poison makes a victim take damage each turn. Unfortunately, most conditions go away on their own after a few turns. You can review a list of conditions later. needs some sorts of heal. The war cry. Oh good god. Uh, if one of your foes falls to zero health, that hero is scrapped. If all active heroes become scrapped, game over. Cards belonging to scrapped heroes become useless and waste space in your hand. Make sure to redraw those cards. Scrapped heroes will be are repaired after each fight, but health is otherwise not restored between fights. You can heal during battle using certain cards, but that can be tricky. Visit a hero statue to use recovery. Okay. So. Okay. Whatever. We'll 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 get there. We're gonna we're gonna push it. We're gonna push the limit here. Oof. Okay, cool. Mana barrier, mana barrier, and fire pilar. Call the family. Okay. Um, let me see. Use a recovery item. Repair vial. Do it. And now... Use that. And then my dude... Do that. Heroic strike. Yeah, this music is rocking. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. War cry. Cool. I need the boys.
Damn it. Damn it. Okay. So I'll use Buck. Buck. Fire pillar. Mana Barrier, Bravado. Ah, Jesus. I'm gonna get rid of one of those. Yes, thank God. Poison? Poison? Cry of battle. Okay. That should kill him, I think. If math is correct, I'm in there. Nope. Just in case. Perfect. Yeah, level up. Lustrous fiber. Huh, didn't even break a sweat. I'll be accepted into the guild in no time. I let you tag along to the forest and you turn it into a friggin' nightclub? Hey, you wanted to experience nature? Hands on, right? I say we stuff our bags full of mushrooms and get back to the village. The things I'd do for learning. And that's chapter one. 67% treasure. Somehow only bizarre to me but that's it chapter two the village of goose bucket goose bucket chapter two our heroes find themselves continuing on their perilous journey but it was so cute and fluffy and a wagon fluffy wagon duck oh there it is. Wow, I've never seen a wagon like that before. Wonder who's in it. Whose it is. Ugh. Uh, was that here earlier? Wouldn't hurt to have a look, I suppose. What is going to remain inside of this odd wagon with a cat face on it? Find out next time. Because I'm Seth Trav, and we're going to... 
continue to practice what we preach.